Hello and welcome to National Focus. I'm your presenter, Mervyn Matthew. Thank you for joining us. Coming up, Dominica Grammar School student is the winner of the Tourism Youth Congress 2013. Preparations for the staging of Jazz and Creole increase momentum and Dominica celebrates Nurses Week from May 7th to the 12th. Stay with us for details of these and other stories after the break. Listen closely and you will hear what climate change might sound like. $30 for a hand of bananas. Severe drought could destroy banana plants and drive food prices up. And now we can see the dead coral reef below us. Dead coral? I thought it was alive. No, it's dead. If you look at the pictures, you can see what the coral used to look like. Oh, wow. Natural wonders like coral reefs are disappearing. But listen closely again, and you can hear the solution. People disposing of garbage responsibly and not in drains and rivers. People responsibly discarding engine oil. Our climate may be changing, but so can we. Making small changes together can have a huge effect on reducing the impacts of climate change. Act now. Rally. Rethink. Respond. This message is brought to you by the OECS Secretariat with funded assistance from USAID. The facts as they are brought to you every day, every day, every day, every day. only on GIS Channel 7. Welcome back. Time now for the details of the news. Four former student of the Dominica Grammar School, Craig Laronde, captured the Junior Tourism Minister title at the Discover Dominica Authorities Tourism Youth Congress held last Friday. Laronde outperformed the seven other students from secondary schools across the country and won a cash prize of $300 and $500 for his school. Sonita Tuse of the Dominica Seventh day Adventist School placed second, while Muniri Mari of the Convent High School came in third. During the Tourism Youth Congress, the student presented a three minute essay on two tourism related topics, namely multi generational travel and Caribbean agrotourism. There is more to it than visiting the farms. The Tourism Youth Congress seeks to develop students' ability to prepare and present speeches. As Junior Minister of Tourism in Dominica, I recommend to my colleagues that farmers and agri-processors provide hotels and restaurants with local produced and processed goods. Selling locally made produce promotes agritourism in a way that it allows the consumer, which are the tourists, to experience our amazing products while on vacation. It also provides a local market for our farmers and links them to tourism. The promotion of ecotourism may work for the personality type who appreciates the outdoors but fails to appeal to the other potential visitors. Our approach to improve the tourism industry in Dominica needs to cater for the interests other than ecotourism. One such way would be multi-generational travel tourism. Ecotourism is the chief tourism product of Dominica and promotes the use of our natural environment and wildlife. Therefore, Dominica must be marketed as a family-friendly ecotourism destination, promoting quality family activities and must also be physically improved to promote accessibility. The other schools participating in the Tourism Youth Congress were the Dominica Community High School, Portsmouth Secondary School, Northeast Comprehensive School, the Wesley High School, and the Isaiah Thomas Secondary School. Craig Laron is expected to represent his school at the Regional Tourism Youth Congress. Dominica was represented last year at the regional event by Miss Nayana George of the Casibu Secondary School. In 2011, Kitwani Kamon won both the local competition and regional competition. In other news, Minister for Tourism and Legal Affairs Honorable Ian Douglas has encouraged the stakeholders to ensure that Dominica is presented as an ideal tourist destination. The minister made the appeal when he addressed the Tourism Youth Congress last Friday. Everything that happens in Dominica affects tourism. So the cleanliness of our surroundings, the beautification of our communities, how we present ourselves to our visitors is important because tourism is competitive business. Every other country in the region offers themselves as a tourism destination. 
and most countries in the world today depend on tourism for generating revenue. So if we do not present the best possible destination we can, then we will not be able to attract visitors. Because today, in the world of the internet, persons have a wide choice of where to go for a vacation. And so when they go on the internet and they research your destination, it must be the best destination. But it can only be the best destination based on what we do on the ground, how we present Dominica and how we take care of what we have. The minister believes the staging of the Tourism Youth Congress will increase the awareness of the Dominica's youth and the importance of tourism to Dominica's development. We want to start with the students because we want to start from the very beginning and the beginnings at our schools. We want the children in preschool, in the primary schools, and of course you in the secondary schools to understand your role in tourism, understand how important tourism is to the future development of Dominica. And we want you to know that you can make a profession out of tourism, out of tourism business. There are numerous careers in tourism. You can study tourism right up to university. You can become um, wealthy because of tourism. You can invest in tourism and become very successful. And we want you to know that, we want you to understand that, and we want you to behave in such a way that you understand the part tourism plays to our economies. During Tourism Awareness Month, the Ministry of Tourism through the Discover Dominic Authority and other agencies will continue efforts to increase awareness of the island's tourism and hospitality industry. Other activities planned include Hike Fest, which will take place on May 11 and 18, paint a -fun activity in Portsmouth on May 11 and 12, a Jazz and Creole on May 19, Tourism Fun Day on May 26, and Service Providers Appreciation Day on May 29. The Discover Dominic Authority is once again presenting Jazz and Creole on Pentecost Sunday, May 19 from 2 p.m. at the Fort Shirley Cabrits. The event, which is preceded by a number of fringe events beginning May 15, is being held for the fourth consecutive year. Chief Executive Officer of the DDA, Colin Piper, told a news conference on Tuesday that Dominica's Jazz and Creole is being held as a means of attracting visitors from the neighboring French islands as well as the wider Caribbean to Dominica at this time of year. This event, Jazz and Creole, um, when conceptualized, was conceptualized to try to get May um, as a month where we could increase the number of visitors coming in. And as such, we know that um, events, especially in the Caribbean, help to um, move people around. Um, so we wanted to um, stage an event in the month of May um, that would help increase the number of visitors into the island. The event serves as an avenue for showcasing local jazz artists on the island as well as foreign artists. This year, Monty Alexander, an international renowned classical jazz artist, will headline the main show. I know everybody knows Monty. Who doesn't know Monty? You need to Google Monty. He has a million and one YouTubes. Um, you probably know Monty um, for jazz reggae, but Monty actually is a classical jazz player um, who very, people, very few people actually know that Monty Alexander is also an internationally renowned um, classical jazz artist who happens to dabble um, you know, in other genres and merge them together. Monty Alexander, I think, was one of those pioneers who started doing that started taking traditional classic jazz and deciding to mix up the session with a little bit of our Caribbean flavor. And what a flavor he is. He will definitely uh, bring the house down on main stage. Meantime, four properties are partnering with the Discover Dominic Authority in staging this year's fringe events. Starting Wednesday the 15th up until the 18th, so the 15th, 16th, 17th, 18th. We will be at Evergreen Hotel, Anchorage, Fort Young Hotel, and Riverstone Bar and Grill. And then we'll have main stage on the 19th. The government of Dominica is fully supportive of that event. Digicel is serving as the platinum sponsor. Other sponsors include Alias for Says, Mapping 2K4 Limited, J. Astafan and Company Limited, 
Kubuli L'Express de Zille, Barefoot Wines and first time sponsor United Insurance. Tickets for the show are available for sale at various outlets in Roseau and Portsmouth, including the DFC office, Depex, and Bullseye Pharmacy. The ticket to the main event costs $50 in advance and $60 at the gate. Season tickets specials are available at the DFC office. Each year on May 12, International Nurses Day is celebrated around the world in commemoration of the anniversary of the birthday of nursing legend Florence Nightingale. Locally, the Nursing Service of the Ministry of Health will celebrate Nurses Week from May 7 to 12, 2013 under the theme Closing the Gap, Partnering to Save Lives of Mothers and Infants. This theme is based on the International Nurses Day theme, which is Closing the Gap, Millennium Development Goals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Two or three of those goals are health related. That is um, the reduction of infant mortality or child mortality, improvement of maternal health, and um, the combating HIV, AIDS, and malaria. Our emphasis is the two first ones um, improving maternal health and uh, reducing child mortality. Farrell explained that all countries should work towards the Millennium Development Goals, which she believes are important to the Ministry of Health. Farrell said the Ministry of Health has done very well in the area of maternal health, but while the maternal mortality rates are low, there are still some concerns. There is currently an EU project um, which will address the area of infant mortality. Um, several initiatives have already begun. Um, to address that situation. So uh, we have had some intensive training for our medical and nursing staff in the area of maternal and child health, both from Princess Margaret Hospital and the various health districts, as well as um, we are in the process of reviewing our protocols and policies regarding maternal and child health in the Ministry of Health. As part of the week-long celebrations, organizers have planned a customer service day on May 8. It's an opportunity for our clients, our customers, when we say customers, we are referring to our patients, our clients, the entire public, um, an opportunity for them to come in and uh, interact with our nursing staff or general staff of the, of the um, healthcare facilities, the healthcare institutions, that is both at Princess Margaret Hospital and the various health districts, an opportunity to learn more in terms of maternal and child health, you know, um, we will be having um, educational sessions um, by the staff so the persons are able to come in, ask questions, get new information, you know, and feel free to, to, to um, interact with our staff. Ms. Farrell is convinced that the closer relationship between the public and the Department of Health will help to improve the quality of health provided. The bodies of deceased national football coach Kurt Hector and national player Naran John Hope will lead to rest on Saturday following a funeral service at the Laplin Roman Catholic Church. They walked past the open caskets. Some captured last moments, while some could not contain their emotions. Among those attending Saturday's funeral service was President of Dominica, His Excellency Elod Williams and his wife, Acting Prime Minister Honorable Ambrose George, members of Cabinet, opposition parliamentarians, the executive of the Dominica Football Association, the National Referee Association, members of the Southeast football team, along with relatives of the fallen footballers. Throughout his homily, Father Sharply sought to bring comfort to the family. You have cried. You have mourned. That will linger. Noren and Kurt will not come back. But if you continue to hold on to the faith of our Lord Jesus Christ, your mourning and your sorrow and your crying will not be in vain.
At the graveside, the caskets of the fallen footballers were carried by their peers, footballers with whom they once shared victories and losses within the field of play. The jerseys opened on the caskets, now covered with dirt, as villagers look on. <laughs> His Excellency President Elliot Williams laid the first reef on the graves of Naron John Hope and coach Kurt Hector. And then, a fitting tribute from a group of young men, members of the national football team, who knew him as coach. Kurt left with us a, a game plan. Everybody knows what the plan is. You know what, what Kurt lived for, what Noran lived for. Guys, we must make that plan come to fruition. So everybody who is represented here today, please be reminded that we cannot break ranks. We need to move on. We need to go ahead for what Kurt and Noran live for. Guys, more commitment must come from us, more dedication. As a matter of fact, this year must prompt us to take our football to a level. If Kurt is not here to see it, but let his memory live to see the football move. Guys, we need to work hard. We need to stay together as a team. We need to love each other and let us continue to be the family that Kurt wants us to be. Do my best for my coach, for my coach, for my country, for my country, for my national team, for national team, national team. Most, of all, most, most of all. And that's the English segment of the news. Mark in St. Louis joins us next with the Creole Highlights. Hello, good moon. Bienvenue à cette nouvelle en Creole. No more in Macpherson, St. Louis. Premier Mont Dominica et un Seaport Authority d'Aspa, comme était mis en place où la passagère s'appelait Forme la douane à bord bateau là, avant de vivre destination à eux. Parole cela qu'a sorti au General Manager d'Aspa, Bino Badwell. Nous avons compris que si vous tapez ces formes-là, à Matnik, à Guadeloupe, à Saint-Lucie, avant de vous embarquer à ces formes-là, vous avez plein de ça, vous avez plein de formes, vous avez plein de immigration, en temps que vous avez fait là, vous avez plus, vous avez moins. Donc, l'immigration, vous avez dit qu'il prend 10 minutes, mais 1 minute pour que le monde soit passé. So, nous avons dit, si ça fait, il est plus en um, plaisant pour mon ville Dominique, parce que vous savez, si vous venez pour une journée, vous prenez pour dépenser top temps à ce port-là. En uh, d'autres nouvelles, Dominique a branché et puis plaisir pays ont la terre pour observer Road Safety Week semaine salaire. Honorable Charles Sabre, c'est le ministre qui a une responsabilité pour la sécurité nationale. Semaine là, où la nous observer et mettre plus attention à la situation pour empêcher les gens, pour faire les gens pour une concussion, comment ils cachent le service chez eux. Avec l'année ça, nous avons mis plus attention à ces gens à pied, parce que c'est les gens qui ont conduit la voiture. Comme ça, nous avons créé à tout le monde qui a servi chemin en Dominique ensemble avec tous les autres pays pour pour précaution faire assurer qui passe en monde à pied nous pas à passer sans occuper ou la ces monde là avec aussi nous ca créer à ces monde qui ca marcher à pied qui eux même ni en responsabilité pour faire certain qui au service chemin là à de en façon puis peut résulter à un accident. Et puis, finalement, nous savons comme que le département gouvernement local qui tient activité sport, comme pas activité yo, en observance à moi gouvernement local. Parole ça là, sorti au chef du département gouvernement local, John Fontaine. Moi, ça là, nous, nous, nous voulons, yo dit tout travail avec sans jouer qu'a fait Jack on Dolboy. So, nous voulons ni en, en, en game ball. Nous, les local government, ou bien gouvernement local, ils aiment jouer against aussi à content 
Premier Minister 11. Go, local government 11 versus Prime Minister 11. Uh, nous avons regardé pour jouer match ça uh, sur 25 à moi en stadium là, uh, pour commencer à 5 heures. So, tout actuellement, quand nous avons parlé, nous avons essayé de voir si ça a marché. Nous avons voulu marcher parce que nous, nous savons et nous avons un de encourager plusieurs personnes pour pour venir et même instant pour ça ça gouvernement local qui a fait un pays. Monsieur madame, ça c'est tout pour nouvelle en créole pour à présent. Non moi c'est Mac Fusson Saint Louis. Au revoir. Et coming up next, your tip of the day. Listen closely and you will hear what climate change might sound like. Hurricanes getting stronger and more frequent. Glaciers melting causing a rise in sea levels. Dry bush burning after a prolonged drought left the bushes vulnerable to fires. What? No water again? But listen closely again and you will hear the solutions. People switching to energy saving light bulbs. People building stronger homes that can withstand hurricane force winds. Our climate may be changing, but so can we. Making small changes together can have a huge effect on reducing the impacts of climate change. Act now. Rally. Rethink. Respond. This message is brought to you by the OECS Secretariat with funded assistance from USAID. Documentaries and in-depth discussions, community walkthroughs, and yes, we care. See it all on GIS Channel Set. To improve your overall health, take a daily 30-minute brisk walk. This simple task will improve your cardiovascular health, increase your metabolism, and help control your cholesterol and blood pressure. And that's all for National Focus today. We welcome your suggestions and comments. Feel free to drop us an email at gis at dominica.gov.dm or visit our website at news.gov.dm. On behalf of the entire news production team, I'm Mervyn Matthew. Thank you for watching. Kurt left with us a, a game plan. Everybody knows what the plan is. You know what, what Kurt lived for, what Noran lived for. Guys, we must make that plan come to fruition. So everybody who is represented here today, please be reminded that we cannot break ranks. We need to move on. We need to go ahead for what Kurt and Noran live for. Guys, more commitment must come from us, more dedication. As a matter of fact, this year must prompt us to take our football to a level. If Kurt is not here to see it, but let his memory live to see the football move. Guys, we need to work hard. We need to stay together as a team. We need to love each other and let us continue to be the family that Kurt wants us to be.